my first memory of science when I was at school was looking down a microscope at a section of a piece of tissue. I was intrigued by the beauty of science. So why study the brain? Well, it's one of the most complex organs in the body. There are more connections in our brain than there are stars in our galaxy, and understanding how this device works is one of the last outstanding challenges that remains to be solved in biological science. The brain is something that's been fascinating people for centuries and I think that fascination is quite universal. And when I came to Sussex, I was really excited because being exposed to all the different elements of neuroscience here means that um, I got a real flavour of how many different ways there are of actually studying the brain. Well, what fascinates me is that it's the, the focus or the focal point of all behaviour. That's what it is to be human. So many different societies and different ways for students to get involved in their degree program or extracurricular activities. It really fosters a sense of camaraderie between the students here. Sussex has a long-standing uh, tradition in neuroscience. It was one of the first universities in the UK to introduce a neuroscience degree. It's a, a hub for world-class neuroscience research. It's a great place, very vibrant, very exciting. It's full of fascinating academics and really high-quality students. There is a broad span of neuroscience research. So from, say, the development of the nervous system through to the sort of fundamental mechanisms and how they're organized into these enormous neural circuits. And then onwards to things like uh, disease. Our work addresses the molecular basis, the understanding of the cause of Alzheimer's disease. Despite a huge amount of research going into developing drugs, at the moment there's really nothing available. Many of those trials have failed. So the Drug Discovery Group at the University of Sussex will take the information that we give them and they'll be able to develop drugs that may be able to combat Alzheimer's disease. When you first arrive at Sussex, you get assigned a personal tutor, what we call an academic advisor, and they're your first point of contact for any uh, you know, worries or concerns, but also this close interaction continues through your degree. Initially we, uh, we teach our students a broad range of subjects from cell and molecular biology through to basic neurophysiology. And then it gets a bit more spread out but also deeper at all levels. You get the chance to focus on what really interested you and you also get the chance to carry out a final year project. We're really privileged at Sussex because people are working lots of different specialities in this department and they're, they're real specialists in their fields. But they're also really approachable. So uh, I felt like I was, I was given a lot of guidance but I was also given the opportunity to go and explore things for myself. You know, you learn to work as a team in, in your lab modules where you're taught, you know, not only the technical skills but how to collaborate with other people and you can apply that anywhere you want. There are many people that I collaborate with at Sussex, from neuroscience and biology to chemistry um, and physics. So this is a really nice environment for students to be able to interact with uh, faculty members and of course Brighton is a wonderful place to live. Brighton really caters for students. It's just a really sort of welcoming place. All the students sort of get together and try and have as much fun as possible, which is great. We want students to learn to think uh, independently, deeply and critically. And these are transferable skills, they're relevant to the rest of their degree, but also beyond into their future career path. You could go into teaching, or perhaps you want to go into scientific publishing, or for example the pharmaceutical industry, or healthcare, or maybe you want to take a further degree, do a master's, or a PhD, and join the sort of cutting edge neuroscience research community. The main highlight of my final year project was the opportunity to actually carry out science in a lab uh, at the forefront of research. All of the questions that we have about ourselves as people, neuroscience is beginning to answer, uh, and hopefully I'll be part of those discoveries. Mm -hmm.